It's not surprising that when Columbus sighted Puerto Rico on the 19th of November, 1493, he wrote to the Spanish monarchs, the new world was like the breast of a woman in the form of a pear. At the side of the pear's stalk was a prominence, like a woman's nipple. This was the West Indian archipelago. The Genovese sailor atoned for his carnal imagery by naming the islands after a gallery of saints. Women artists of a colonial past, i.e. slavery, face a particular challenge. If art is understood to be convention of one kind or another, then inherent in that convention is an ideology, an agenda, a perspective, or if you will, a certain truth. Women and colonial conquests have been made over in an image that reflects the needs of a capitalist economy, or they have been made invisible or mute. Love, death, and violence. And then sensuality is a combination of the love and the violence. Figure ground relationships. And the flower is, uh, is the vulnerability and assertiveness of nature, because it dies in one day sometimes. The flower, water, and birds. Taboos. Sex or other bodily function. Death. 